All right, what's up? Billy Paradise. Trying to grow my own paradise. Saw these pepper plants in probably about November. Around Thanksgiving, seven pot brain strain, supposedly. I got these seeds through an exchange. I'm not gonna swear on it, but hopefully that's what they are. Anyways, so as I said, I planted these back in November and here it is the third week of March. So it has been, you know, about five months that I've planted these and this is the size that they're at. They're not even maybe five, six, maybe, maybe six inches tall from the base of the, you know, the soil to the top. And uh, that's, that's quite small. It's putting on a lot of flowers. I've had a huge problem with aphids and fungus gnats. And uh, so I've got plenty of these hanging out inside and they're all the same size. They were all started at the same time and they've all progressed the same way and stunted in the same size. So I'm gonna attempt to pull it out of its stuntedness and put it outside and yeah I know it's early um, but you know why not I got I got a uh, old uh, small fish tank bowl fish bowl kind of thing I'm gonna use as a cover in this spot in my yard here um, as shoddy as it looks you know Caden back down now <clears throat> um, you know is it, it gets a lot of sunlight so Hopefully, with that being the case, I'm able to take this plant out of its pot, just like I did. Set it in this water. I'm going to rinse it down to its bare root. Just to wash off any of the uh, root lock that we have, nutrient lock. You know, just to kind of give it a brand new environment to grow. So I'm just taking it and setting it in the water and shaking it, you know. Eventually all your roots will come free from the mud that they're cased in and I think that I've been overfeeding these plants as well uh, I'm still learning. This is like my third fourth year of serious gardening And so, you know, I'm still learning a ton. You know, you can ask a 70 year gardener what he's still learning. He'll tell you he learns every day. You know what I'm saying or she <laughs> But anyway, so uh There's that root ball but I gotta spray this off so we're gonna go ahead and do that with this whenever you get spray bottles just use spray bottles that you've already bought from a brand name company because they don't play around when it comes with their bottles but if you're buying a bottle a spray bottle that's on the shelf sold directly as a spray bottle they're probably not gonna be as good you know what I mean all right but anyway here's one of them damn fungus gnats right now Where'd he go? Flew off as soon as I got close to him. But anyway, back to the video. I'm just gonna go ahead and rinse off these roots here. Spray them off. Castile soap and water. That's what I've been using to keep my aphids under control. It's very plant safe. I've used it on seedlings. And no, the soap doesn't dry out the plant and kill it. Unless you use a lot of soap, which Castile soap goes a very long way. You can use uh, a teaspoon into a bottle this size. And, uh, you know, and you get a lot of suds. It's very sudsy soap, but the purpose of that is so it dries out the body of the soft-bodied insects. But anyway, so I'm going to just throw it in this hole here. I'll grab a shovel real quick. And this is just experimental part of the yard. And there's my other plants there. Got them going on. Lots of seven pots, chocolate habaneros, golden cayennes. Caden, back this up. Oh, okay. Anyways, it's hard to do anything with a toddler, I'm sure you guys know. If you have toddlers, you can't turn your back for five seconds. But anyways, this is really soft, soft dirt, really loamy. It ain't taking me nothing to get my shovel down in here, and I've never dug this spot before. So that's kind of cool, but... I had these old planks from our floating floor that we put in just sit out here so moles and other critters have been coming in here and tunneling around and shit, stuff so it makes it easier but anyways here we go with this I'm just gonna toss this plant in there like that seven pot brain strain I'm gonna kind of put it low to the ground not by not on purpose that's just the way it just sat in there just now and then, like I said, I got a little fish bowl here. A bunch of little holes have been poked in it. And that's the perfect size to help ward off 
frost. All right, I'll let y'all know how that goes. I hope it comes out of its dormancy. This is the whole purpose of the video is to make sure that if I need to start my new seeds, I need to do it now. But if these, if this plant will come out of its dormancy, then, uh, then I don't need to start new seeds and I'm going to be, you know, ahead of schedule a little bit. But this is what happens when you start your seeds way too soon.